Hello everyone, this is Austin from the Refi Core, and this is definitely not a video that I usually do, but I think you guys should take a look at this. So, I normally never do videos where I, I like talk about a blaster that's been leaked, but I I really do think you should look at this. So, before I get started, I found this on r slash nerf, which if you don't know what that is, it is a subreddit on the app Reddit, which I definitely think you should join r slash nerf because there are so many people, you know, posting really cool mods and paint jobs. It's actually a really cool subreddit, so I do recommend that you go to that subreddit if you are, you know, into nerf. And then one more thing, as you can see in the bottom left corner, I, um, the person who posted this was u slash and underscore g79. So that's the person who posted this and found this. And they said that they found it in a catalog. So this blaster, um, is called the Hammerstorm, which sounds pretty cool. But let's just take a, a quick look at this. So, right away, you know, we see it's a hammer action blaster, which hammer action is awesome because, well, that means dual wielding, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming that it's going to be an eight round blaster, considering that it says eight times and then the little dart symbol. So, it's probably going to be eight darts, but what's weird is that Alpha Strike always gives you extra darts. But I'm looking at the rotating cylinder there, and it really doesn't look much smaller than 8. Like, it it really looks like if it's 8. Which is kind of weird for the Alpha Strike line, but... What I wanted to talk about is how... This do, like this does not fit in the, in the Alpha Strike line. Like, first of all, look at the grip. And then compare it to, like, the ones below it. It's not a skeletonized grip. And every Alpha Strike grip has been that weird skeletonized, like... You know, that weird, uncomfortable grip. But it's not. And it even looks like a Doomlands grip. Like, all the Doomlands gr um, grips look like that, actually. Like, even, like, stuff like the Desolator and, like, the Honor. Like, they they all have that grip. So, it's kind of weird. And that makes, you know, that makes me to believe that this is probably a Doomlands blaster. But it, you know, was never released. And then, look at how bulky it is. There are a lot of bulky blasters in the Doomlands line. And just the way it looks, it looks so... I don't know if this is like a word, but like Doom Land Z, I guess is how you'd call it. It just looks like it belongs in the Doom Man's line. And then there are also a lot of hammer action blasters in that line. So that's what's kind of weird. So, and then there's another thing too. Look at the muzzle. That appears to be a Nerf and Strike barrel attachment nozzle. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. And um, if, if it is, then like... Yeah, this is probably a Doomlands Wasser then that just wasn't was never released. So I I I mean I do have high hopes for this thing. I do think it's gonna be pretty cool. It is gonna be pretty bulky for what it is, but I think people are gonna make some really sick looking paint jobs on this thing. Like I think I think the shell looks great actually, and I might even do a paint job on one of these. Like I don't know, I I think it's really cool actually. So I think I I am gonna be picking this up, but it um, once again, I think I said this earlier, if I didn't, then, you know, but, um, this was found in a catalog by the person who posted this. So, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting, and that's pretty much all there is to say. This is the only image as of now, at least that I know of, and so, hopefully we get more informa information in the next couple days or so. But I want you guys, considering that the comments aren't disabled because of COPPA, I want you guys to leave a comment down below on what you think. And so that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.